Yes boys, welcome back to another YouTube video on the Red Light channel. Now today we're going to be talking about how I became a pro FIFA player, um, earning a salary for a Premier League club, West Ham United, um, and where, where we all started, how I become a FIFA player, and how we got into talks with West Ham, etc. Um, if you enjoy the video boys, drop a like and a subscription, it's free, and yeah, follow all my socials if you enjoy. Thanks boys, let's get into it. So yes boys, as we get into the video, we'll just slide show some pictures from behind um, for my photo shoot at West Ham Stadium, the London Stadium. But yeah, um, it was a long road boys, so we started FIFA on the Wii, Nintendo Wii. We, um, we played like career mode with Wayne Rooney, just from pro to pro um, keeper, like camera angle uh, on the Wii. And then eventually we got an Xbox 360, um, got FIFA 13 I believe it was. And I think it's FIFA 14 and then 15 went to Xbox One. Um, so I've always been on Xbox, you know, my whole life from Wii. Um, yeah, and then since then, playing, 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 getting addicted, starting saying to my friends, oh, I don't want to come out today. I want to play FIFA. Um, like when it was raining, I was happy, want to play FIFA. So there you go. We got more addicted as the years went on. After school every night, FIFA, FIFA, FIFA. Um, and then college, I was like getting better and better and better. Um, but when it really started was when the Premier League announced a tournament, the E Premier League. Now, the first year of this was on FIFA 19. Um, I used to just play casually um, and I entered the Ajax tournaments. Now, I met a few guys in there, um, one called DS Gaming. He. He spoke to me, met, got to know him, and he knew other people that I'm now still friends with to this day. So that's great. We all linked. Um, so yeah, I was just playing the Ajax tournaments. E Premier League gets announced. Um, I'm so excited. I choose Everton. Now, I don't know why I chose Everton because I did it because I thought it would be one of the easier ones, but I forgot about Hashtag Harry, one of the best players in the world at the time, um, who went. So then... We picked Everton on the way back from the gym, I remember it to this day. Uh, walked all the way back, and then here we have the ladder screen, which I can show you now. So yeah, boys, as you can see on the screen there, sorry, um, I played 46 games. I didn't um, put in how many I won and lost, probably because I lost a lot. Um, but yeah, Harry played 29, 129. Matt Biddle, who, a guy who I met at the time, as he beat me in a close game in the ladder, he's actually a really nice guy. He come first in the ladder and didn't go to the event. So then the seeding changed. I was now second seed. Harry was first, etc., etc. Um, but yeah, I played a lot of games in this ladder. I was really excited to play the event. Um, you had to be 16 plus to enter, and I just turned 16 literally on the deadline. So that was quality. Everything was smooth. Um, I went down to Goodison Park, um, yeah, and then there was Harry there, there was Liam, NFG Liam, who I'm friends with now. Um, a lot of good players, well, I say a lot, obviously they filtered out into the 20 club, so we had a few top 200 players there, well, top 100 at the time, and then obviously Harry won the best in the world and was favourite by far to win, in my opinion. Um, but then we got the first game, I won, I think 7-2. And then the second game, I lost 7-2. But in other news, Harry got beat by Liam, which was an upset. And then the winner was Potsy, um, who was like a big, big underdog. So yeah, that was a big shock. But that's when I got my real taste for FIFA. Um, it was on a LAN. And I do have the picture um, to show you. It is... Yeah, and it's here. So basically, this was my profile picture for a few years after. Um, as you can see, E Premier League sign just getting cut off there. And then the Everton um, badge as well. Nice top that we all got given for free. Um, and there's me. Now, a little story off topic. A few days before this tournament, I was at football training for school and someone kicked the ball and smashed me in the face. Now, you might be able to notice I've actually got a black eye in the picture. The closest eye um, to me, like on the nose here. Yeah, but um, no, you can't really see that. But yeah, moral of the story, I got a great taste of FIFA at the event and I couldn't wait to play more. Um, I left home, I mean, I left the event sad, two hour journey back to my house because it was a LAN. Um, probably weren't the best choice, should have picked one closer. But yeah, um, my parents took me to the LAN, thankfully. You know, they, it's one of them where you've got to convince your parents if you want to be a pro FIFA player or something like that. 
and I convinced them to take me, and they did, and then yeah, that's where I got the taste for it. Fast forward now to the next year, nothing really happened. Um, I didn't get verified status on FIFA, which is where you have to get 27 wins out of 30. Um, so yeah, let's fast forward onto the next part of my chapter. Okay guys, here we are again. This is where we're in love with FIFA, as you can see, straight after the Everton tournament. Um, we've got me predicting a tournament from Brandon Smith's tweet, um, two English guys who I'm now friends with. Um, they didn't win, but it just shows how much I liked FIFA at the time when I'm predicting these things. Um, I can't wait to grind the new FIFA I retweeted. Here's me scoring goals, um, just cl clips of goals. And then here it is. The first ever um, 27 for me, 27 and 3. Um, what am I doing? Yeah, full screen. So, th this point was big for me because I knew I was a good player. I was getting to 17 and 0, 17 and 1, 17 and 2 sort of vibe every weekend. And then finishing 21 and 9. 20 and 10. I couldn't get elite. I'd never had elite. My, I'd got elite, I think, once a few weeks before, maybe. Oh, no. Once, actually, at the start of this FIFA, which is FIFA 19. So, like, a few weeks in, I got a 24. Now, that's the only time I'd ever got elite. One 24, the rest 22 and below. This weekend, right, I went to Milan to see my brother. Um, and I had a conversation with my nan at the time, saying about... Um, what I want to do for my job, etc. And my mum was saying she wants the best for me, or whatever. Getting a bit like upset because I didn't know what I wanted to do with anything. And I just said I want to be a FIFA player, um, but like I, I don't know, like it's so hard. But I know I'm going to be a FIFA player. Now I'm a gold one player at the time, so it's a bit like it's unbelievable. Like it's not, it's like not realistic at all. But like I think it was like fate that I'd make it. Um, which is a weird thing, like a weird way to look at it, but I always knew I was going to be a FIFA player. So then we got home from this weekend in Milan, Sunday night, cracked a Red Bull open, 27 and 3. Last game, Angel Di Maria header back post to seal it against a really good player as well. Now, this is my first ever thing that I did decent, and it was also July, which means the year's finished, it means nothing. 27 and 3 was pretty much void, um, elite one, because it was July. Everyone made like a joke about it. It's July, nothing matters, and that's what I used to say as well. And then I got the 27. But yeah, from this point on, we put some absolute graft in Div Rivals. We used to get 70,000 points a week, and like 90,000 points a week, every week, just playing, 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 playing. If you remember the old system, you got points per game, it was like 900 points per game, and we put in absolute effort. We played a 3 5 2, just grinded. But let's get on to the next part where we entered FIFA 20. Yes, lads, we're back to tweeting clips. Now, we tweeted an RBX volley goal that we scored. As you can hear. We had the... We had the bro, we had the trainer on. Everyone used to laugh at me if I had the trainer on. But this is me, start of FIFA in the prime. Um, first team for weekend league. I put £80 on. 12k FIFA points. Timo Werner. Witzel, Sancho, Griezmann, Inform Delaney, Perisic, Alaba, Hernandez, Longley, Semedo, Tostegan. Now, this was a really cheap team, guys, really cheap. First weekend league, 23 and 2. Obviously, it was 30 games back then. We needed 27 to get verification, like the year before, but you have to do it in a certain, like the first few months, there's a certain time period. Now, we had to get it in the first game to get into the first qualifiers, which were the week after. So, we're still a free agent at this point. As you can see, I've actually I've put a thing over my record because I've played that many games that my record was bad, but I'd always, I've always, always put time in to try and get better. Now, verified, here we go. This is the team we use. As you see, Bench, Awful, Havertz, Zaha, St. Maximin, Pukki. 27 and 3, 46 in the world. Now, the last game was 3 1 down um, with like 40 minutes left, and we won like 4 3. Which is like why I say it's fate because imagine if I didn't make this and then I didn't make the first qualifier, like everything could have been different. So there we are. We submitted our registration for the FIFA Global Series for the first ever time on FIFA 20. As you can see, guys, again, we have got upgrades in. Ready for tomorrow's qualifiers, Cup 1. So our, this is my team in the weekend league. This is my team in the qualifiers. So we've got Sterling and Cancelo, Varane, 
Um, Red Semedo, Hazard. Good team, but not good enough. It was good for the start of FIFA, but it's not pro level. Yeah, boys, the next week, we went 26-4 and four, all on the Friday. Lost to, like, I think it was, like, 23-1 and one or something. So it was a big bottle. But this is where we get into the first qualifier. Now, we went 3-2 and two on the first day, beating big names, um, Scaldi, Tuds. And then we lost to Zidane, a World Cup qualifier in the next game. So, yeah, this is, you see, the team getting better and better. Cup 2. Beat over Femi Mobus when he celebrated matching me. That was funny. Beat Modric FIFA, another good name. Bunyarda, good name. Thomas17, really good player. Knocked me out of that one. Uh, Gentle Mike as well, sorry. Um, so there, we signed up for the Sheffield United E Premier League on FIFA 20. Now this, that, at that point it was my biggest tournament because that was the only one I knew I was going to be playing on FIFA 20. I didn't know I was going to get verified or be good at the game. I just knew I'd be playing E Prem because you don't need to be verified. So yeah, that was that. Okay, this is the big one, boys. Team for the weekend league. This is the team. Very average. Now, where's the third qualifier? Here's me on Eprem, 32 and 0, standard. Coming for vengeance. Um, lost in Eprem League. All right, here's the one. Phase one, we got put in a pre-qualifier to get to the qualifier to get to the event. Now we didn't deserve to be in the phase two part, so it was deserved that I was in the phase one. Phase one. This is why I say it's fate as well. We got a buy, that's fine, whatever. Beat Jarrow, good player. One on pens against Snake CEO. Now, he had a pen to win in extra time. Like, in extra time, he had a pen. I saved it in normal time. Went to penalties. I won. There was a few we dabbed the right way. They went in. That's just luck. We beat Crazy Wheezy through to Phase 2. Now, Phase 2 is on my 17th birthday. Lost to Crafty, lost to Russia. Both good players. Got a DQ win. Beat Hassan, one of my friends now. Um, lost to Jonas, no, beat Jonas Booth, who's a bundle player at the time, which is a big part. And then lost to Ryan Purcell by one goal um, after leading a few times for um, the knockouts. Now, at this point, I messaged um, a few orgs, got aired by everyone, even um, orgs that become fake. Like, they was all like uh, a lie. They offered things that they couldn't do and stuff. And I even offered to join them at the time, not knowing, and they declined me. So... Yeah, I asked quite a few people and then bundled, come back to me and said, what are you, what are you looking for, etc, etc. And that's where we got talking. Then we got our first top 100 the week after. Um, there's Jonas again. Look at the record, we played so many games. This was in December. And then we scroll up. This is our team for the next qualifier. Now, as you can see, massive improvement. Messi, Neymar, Mbappe, Hullet. Amazing team, basically. Where's the ultimate team finance takeover? I'm not seeing. That's what Jack Sharp said in the replies, as you can see. Um, basically, but I'd sign for Bundle at this point, and they'd give me um, a lot of FIFA points to put on and get a better team. So this was massive for me. I didn't even do good in the last two qualifiers. I lost in both um, in like the phase one part. Now, here's the E-Premier League. This was a squad I had, really good team. Um, and then... Yeah, so we had E-Lions as well, got quite far, lost to Gorilla in E-Nations, e yeah, E-Lions. And then, Chef United E-Prem. We had a chance to win it in the last minute, Felipe Anderson, and I bottled it. I hit it, well, I hit it across, the keeper saved it, and then he won in gold and gold, Gorilla. Um, and that was the one of the saddest parts for me, uh, the FIFA, like, come up. So I hadn't qualified for anything after FIFA 20, I've joined Bundled, I hadn't done very well. Um... And then we played for Mansfield in the Quarantine Cup. Now this one, I did good. I beat Ajax Danny. Um, I beat quite a few big names. And then I lost to Wolves for Filza in like the quarters. And then for Filza won the whole tournament. So after that, I had a bit of bit about me, you know. Um, like I played really good. As you can see here, put a tweet out about Mansfield. Great, great moment when I won it in the 93rd minute. I was on the local news, um, etc. So yeah, it was really good. 170 likes, that was a really good one. Excited to join Team Bundled. Now, they put a Scottish flag behind me by accident. They got that mixed up. But yeah, this is where we joined Bundled, and this is where it all started. Okay, guys, now here's the big one. A rising star set to make his mark. Also joining from Team Bundled, welcome to West Ham Esports AC Red Light. Now, this is when I joined Bundled with two other players, Jonas, which I recently mentioned, and Paps. 
Now, Paps is one of my best mates, and yeah, it's mad how everything happened. So I joined as the youth player, the, the younger guy, um, on obviously like a lesser salary, like a lesser fee for points, sort of just as a lower down, um, as a third player. Now, all the big tournaments, Club World Cups, 2v2, like two sets of 1v1, um, I wasn't selected in stuff like that. I was always trying to fight my case with the bundle manager saying, let me play, let me play. Um, but I understood that I didn't deserve to play based on the achievements of the other two. Um, as they t like them two played in the E Divisé final, which is the Dutch version of the E Premier League, um, the year before, and Jonas' team won. So yeah, here's the roster. Um, me, Paps and Jonah. And yeah, we was all ready to go for FIFA 21. FIFA 21 started, I packed Messi, I was streaming a lot. This was my team straight away, you know, something I've never encountered, having a crazy team, like, straight off the bat. Streaming a lot there, as you can see. Um, top 200 first week, I got four top 200s out of five in the first week, at least. Here we are, started our YouTube channel, Rashford in a player pick, and it just got better and better. Now, let's fast forward to E Premier League. Yeah, guys, now, uh, before we get to the E Premier League, there's these tournaments all year round, there's about six. Um, basically, you get FGS for whatever round you get to, and they all adds up. So basically, after six qualifiers, I think there was, it all adds up, and we got into the FGS playoffs. Now, where's the E Premier League? Let me just scroll up. Team for Cup Two as well. Amazing team. Um, yep, into day two again. It's a theme. I kept getting to day two every qualifier. Um, new patch come out. I won a tournament. Won a few hundred pounds. That was good. Thirty and oh. Um, that's when I was really getting into the rhythm. E Lions, top four in the E Lions. Uh, it would have been a LAN event at the England Stadium because of COVID. It was from home. Um, team for Cup Three. Look at the tournaments left, right, and centre. Into tomorrow again. I was frying. Lost on pens twice. I lost on pens on the first game of day two, which is really frustrating. Um, here's the England tournament. You know, great, great tournament. Uh, as you can see, Gorilla, Big Mac, Lyrics, Red Like, Shuri, Tex, Impact, Ryan Pessoa. Now in this one, I won the first game against Lyrics, a friend of mine, and then lost to Big Mac in the Eliminator, which was one of the, the saddest moments for me in my FIFA career, as I literally woke up for the next week every day and just thought about my Vieira header miss and stuff like that, and my Ronaldo hitting the post and stuff, um, which was a frustrating one, but here was a big moment when we beat Lyrics. So yeah, that was quality. Um, top 200 again. Collab with Benji Fish. Now this one was massive. This one gave me a lot of followers and a lot of exposure. This was great. Thank you to West Ham for that one. Um, really good. Interacting with Benji. Um, e Premier League, we qualified. Here's a clips of me, some clips of me scoring, whatever. The final 20, here's me again. Um, I didn't do too well in the finals, but it's good to win that spot and beat Jonah, another West Ham player. Um, you know, and sort of state your claim of why you should be at West Ham the next year, you know what I mean, and keep your place. Um, here's the stuff for your Premier League, the groups. I had a really hard group. I did get grouped um, in the end. Uh, Jazz, Oli Lito, Ryan, Toast, really good group. Um, there's my shirt, which you get for winning in the Premier League. If you win at a club, you get a shirt and a trophy, which I've got as well. Um, which was really cool and then yeah there's a picture of me and Paps the 2E Premier League finalist tweeted by West Ham which was quality you get a lot of Coca-Cola stuff sent as well um, as part of the you know package um, me coming second in the world joined on SR this was a really big moment got me a tactics video we've got 89,000 views which is amazing the year before, me saying I wanted to get into playoffs the next year, it was a big ambition, I said. People may think it's, um, yeah, people may think it's ambitious, but I believe in myself. Bro, one year later, we officially qualified for the playoffs. 52nd seed. Aim as World Cup, top nine. But anyway, um, this is around the Euros. Fast forward, this is the team. The playoffs was amazing. Um, we got out of Swiss. We went 3-2. and two. Could have easily been 4-1. and one. We lost on pens. Um, but yeah, we flew through. Here's the Bundle Boys. Beat Predator, beat Rasmussen, lost to Brad Colston, a friend of mine. Beat Nice Art, lost to Lefty on pens. Into day two, lost to, lost to Dead Jacks. My keeper gave away three pens that were bullshit. And uh, 
Colston literally beat me like I just felt like I weren't playing good and that was me out this was my achievements for the year and as I now sit in FIFA 22 as the West Ham captain um, it's been a great year you know and like everything went better and better and that is how I became a FIFA player for West Ham United now I will release another video saying how to become a pro FIFA player but for now this is my how I joined West Ham United as a professional FIFA player I hope you enjoyed boys um, but yeah if you're ambitious like me, want to be a FIFA player, I wouldn't really recommend it, but I get why people want to do it. So, yeah, keep an eye out, boys. Drop a like, a subscription, and follow my socials, Twitter, AC underscore red, like Instagram, Alfie Calder. And, yeah, I hope you have a great day. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching, boys. See you later.